How's it going everyone? My name is Nelbus and welcome back to another episode on the Minefield server and this is a wall. Just a normal everyday wall. This leather, nothing important. Just a regular old wall. Just kidding. Ta-da! It's the secret little staircase that pops out. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't like that it actually shows off the, um, the pistons, but so far I've found no proper way of hiding them. Now, how this works, um, I'll show you how it works. If we pop back behind here, um, I've actually got these stairs here. These stairs which alter the direction these stairs face once they're pulled back into that position. So, uh, if I get some stairs right now, I can show you guys how it works. Um, we got some stairs here. Okay, so, the way it works, there's a stair here facing this direction, and this stair is facing that direction. Now, once you place this stair in this position here, it looks like a full block. But if it's placed here, obviously, there's going to be this little gap here. But since stairs connect up now, it looks like a full block and it's completely flawless. So, you do that and they connect up just like so. And you push them out. Oh, and it reveals the stairs. And I kind of want to do this effect all the way up here. Uh, but I want to do it going down, so what will happen is when you come into the entrance of my base, which will be probably up here somewhere, I want to, I want to do like a big Nalbus mouth, and you walk into my mouth, and you walk down here, and the whole thing, it's very linear, it walks down here, you just see this big hole in the ground, and just so you know, all these stairs, you won't be able to see them. It'll look like just a big hole in the ground. And I'll have like a secret code or something to get down there. So there'll be like a secret code somewhere around here or here. And once you activate it, all of these stairs will be popping out. Just going along like that till it gets to the bottom. It'll be a really cool reveal. Like it'll just look like a big dark hole to nothing. And then it'll be revealed that it's actually a big dark hole into my cave. And you'll follow these down, and as it goes down, um... I'll be having, like, these redstone lamps light up so it gets lighter as you go down. But yeah, that's kind of my idea for what to do, um, for this hole in my entrance leading up to my base. Um, I will try to pretty up a little bit and make it so it's not just flat stone brick. But I'll do that eventually. Later, I just want to get the uh, the mechanics working out for it first. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, at the beginning of this episode, we'll just try and get this all finished and see if we can get this effect to work out. And maybe we'll work on an entrance. Um, I don't really have the materials for it, and I'm not too sure of what I'll do for the entrance. But um, obviously, I, I spend a lot of um, hours working on these episodes, so I might have an idea eventually. Uh, but all I know so far is that we're going to work on this at the beginning of the episode, so we'll get to work on this, and I'll be right back once we're doing some redstone work. <sighs> I really wish... I... I really, really, really wish pistons worked like trees. Because when you place a tree branch, the direction depends on the block you place it on. So if I place it on this block, it should be facing upwards. But it depends more on the angle that you're placing it on. Kind of how tree trunks used to work in one of the snapshots. Uh, before they released uh, the update where they... Where, you know, tree branches can be placed vertically and horizontally and all those different angles. There was a point where it depended on which angle you were facing, which was really, really bad, and that's how pistons work. Which is why pistons are so difficult to to use. It's because they, um... There we go. You have to kind of maneuver yourself to actually place them in the correct position, which is very, 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 very annoying. I must say, very annoying. Like, you have to remove blocks to place them, and... Oh my god, it's a pain. It is really a pain, but I think this shouldn't be too difficult to get all this done. Yeah, okay. It seems to be going quite well. 
quite, quite well. Okay. Got this first bit done. Let me just, um, place... I need some stairs. Crap. Okay, let's go down here. But yeah, as you, as you can see, I've actually done a lot of digging and I've, you know, done pretty much all of this area which I need to fill up with redstone. And it goes all the way down here and just goes all the way along there. So I just need some stairs right now. Um... Here we go. So I think maybe what I'll do up here is I'll actually, like, make an item frame puzzle. Like, turn some item frames on different angles and try to figure it out from there. Um, so it's kind of like a bit of a puzzle to get into my area. Um, oh, we need a place from the inside. That's right. So like this. Just do that all the way down here. And here. So now when those are retracted... Is that gonna work? Hold on, no, I did this wrong. They're meant to be placed on these blocks here. God damn it. Well, at least I got that wrong. At least I didn't go all the way down and finish it and turn out I've done it all wrong. So I did do it wrong. It's, um... It might be a little bit harder than I thought. Like there. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. Mm hmm Oh, hello. Hi. So I think the more redstone that I've actually got placed in my area, the more frame rate intensive it's gonna be. So... Hmm, I'm a bit worried about my area becoming almost impossible to record in, because obviously if I look down here, my frame rate is a bit, little bit choppier because of the, uh, the redstone machinery I've done um, down in the, the mob spawner and the redstone I'm going to do in, along this area. It's going to be a little bit frame rate intensive, so hopefully sometime this year I'm able to get a brand new PC where I'm able to go through this area without any, you know, tearing frames. Hopefully you guys don't worry about that too much. <laughs> Otherwise, I could have some pretty crap videos now. Um, so all I have to do now is just make these retract out, just grab the blocks, then I break these, make them retract in. Because obviously we know when they're, you know, extracted, it works, and clearly when they're retracted, it still works. So now it looks like a flat wall, and then once we place them all, all the power is going to all these pistons. We go out here. And there we go, we got a staircase, which sticks out. And what I want to do for this is I kind of want to do a wave effect, so... Basically, I, I, I activate the item frame, and it goes down slowly. It goes, like, the pistons activate one by one, pretty much. Maybe two by two. And, you know, I could, like, walk along with it, and as I go down, um... Some redstone lighting will, will come up, which would be really nice. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Okay. So now what I have to do is, um, do the same thing I did here, all the way down here, and just get that all, the, all of that out of the way. And then we can start doing the, uh, the redstone in which we do all the delays and all the stuff we need to do to make it actually work. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do all this off camera, all of this piston placing, because you've pretty much seen what I've got to do on camera. So you've got an idea of what I've got to do. So I'll do that now, and I'll be right back. So slime balls. We're getting a whole bunch of slime balls right now. Oh man, <laughs> we got a lot of them. Let's go check this one. I still got to set up a good um, storage setup, or make them all funnel up towards the storage area, or... We'll have, like, a brand new slime storage area, specifically. But yeah, this is going really well. I'm quite proud of how efficient it is. Um, obviously, this is not all the slime balls we've got. I can show you my slime ball chests. Um, by the way, but to put into context, I'm making sticky pistons right now. Got pistons in my hand. Um, we just need a whole bunch of sticky pistons, obviously. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Not good. Okay. So we go down here. Sh show you my, um, my slime, slime ball chest. 
because it's starting to fill up. Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. A whole bunch of them. So yeah, I think we're going to need a, a, an area specifically for storing these guys. So, um, yeah, work on that soon. Okay, so I'm currently working on the redstone, making sure I got that um, effect going. So if I pull this lever, as you can see, it's working. It's working pretty good. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of lag on the service, so... There's a slight bit of um, graphical glitches, but you can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear that it's working. And that's enough for me. That works. Um, so let's go down here. As you can see, pretty simple redstone. Like, we're not doing anything too complex. Nothing, like, extremely efficient. We're not trying to save redstone. We got a lot of it. So basically what we're doing is we're just going to go along here. We can use these, um, stone bricks so I don't, um, accidentally mine it out. Let's go down here. There we go. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to give these ones... We're going to give this one a regular delay. This one a two tick delay, this one another two tick delay, this one three ticks, this one three ticks. And then we're gonna have another one here, which is gonna have four ticks of delay. Um, and that helps us create that effect, pretty much. Let's do this, there we go. Let's go along here with the redstone, and then we're gonna have another Register repeated there. I'm gonna make some more, so go ahead and do that. But it's pretty simple. Very, very simple to get this wave effect. Not anything too difficult. Just a little bit of fiddling around with delays and I've eventually figured it out. So it goes two at a time. So these two go go off at the same time, just because that's the best way I could do it to make it all work out. So it's two at a time. That works pretty good. a little bit laggy, but that's fine. Who cares? <laughs> Someone probably cares. Anyway, um, just gonna finish this off. I'm gonna do it all off camera because obviously not very interesting to watch redstone. Um, well it might be. Um, this actually cuts into the, um, into the slime farm, but thankfully it's right at the top, so I'm not too worried. Uh, just gonna do the redstone along here. Um, and I'll figure out somehow, some way of, um, stopping... Well, we can just do this. I mean, we can just block it off here. Yeah, there's a very low chance any slimes are going to get through here. If we just do it like that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work for me. We just do the redstone along here like this. Yeah, that'll work. I don't think any slimes will manage to get through there, so that's fine. Okay. Not too difficult to get rid of that. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so the redstone is complete. And just imagine this area here just looking like a regular old household. A very pretty looking house. And then there's just this random hole. And just imagine there's no light down there. It's just completely dark and it goes down to nothing. You're just like, um... What is this hole? Why is this here now, Bus? What is this? And then you see these paintings on the wall. Imagine just a nice wall with a couple of paintings on them. And there's a specific pattern that you can move these paintings into. You can turn them around a little bit and it'll activate the secret entrance into this secret underground facility that this guy here, Nalbus, is running in this little innocent looking little house. You turn the paint we well, turn the paintings and then suddenly Obviously a little bit of lag. And as it goes down, there'll be like these things lighting up. Um, that's because I don't have smooth lighting on, if you're wondering. Uh, if I turn smooth lighting on, I should be able to get that all fixed. There we go. As you can see there, but it's a little bit laggier. Um, so as it goes down, it slowly lights up. I'm going to put a redstone lamp underneath every single one of those blocks in the corners. As it goes down, it slowly lights up and you can see there's something down there. So you go down, you keep going down, you follow this. You're like, oh shit, what's gonna go down here? What, What is down here? Oh god, this is terrifying. Oh no! 
It's a secret underground testing facility for different things. Oh my god. There's a slime murdering device. There's, there's, there's a, a zombie soul extracting device with a tube that moves the baby zombies into a zombie daycare. This is horrible. What the hell is going on here now, Elvis? So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of my idea. I want to have like an innocent looking house, an innocent looking area just on top of here. Very pretty looking, very, very, very um nice and pretty. And then can you come down here and it's just death and experiments and evil, evil, um, you know, science going on down here. I think that'd be very, very cool to come down here and it would just be like, <laughs> it would just be horrible. Like it'll look like all dank and dark and horrible down here. That's the effect I want to do. Very colorful and vibrant. Then you come down here, very dark and gray and just bad. That's the idea I've got for this area, okay? That's the idea. So, I will start working on some builds up here. I'll make like a colourful little town, a pretty little, little colourful looking town up here. And then when we head down here into the dark depths of the area, you see that it's got a hidden little dark secrets. I love it! Great! So I do kind of want to work on this, um... This entrance a little bit, um... But I think I'll work on it a little bit later. Um, not right now. I kind of want to experiment with some um, some designs for this area. But I'm kind of, you know, running a little bit low on time. So I don't want to exactly do that today. We'll work on it another day when I've got some really good designs in my mind. Right now, I'm kind of just working with redstone. So give me a break, guys. Give me a break. Okay. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. But I'm going to take a break from recording. And I'll be back soon with the next clip. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm kind of running out of time to record an episode today. And I kind of want to sort of get this out as soon as I can. So, sorry about that. It's might be a little bit of a shorter episode. But, oh well. We got some stuff done. We got some really cool stuff done. Which I'm really, really happy about. Um, I find it, it seems that when I do really cool stuff I tend to record less and do more off-camera work so it seems like I do less stuff but really I am doing more stuff um, because that whole staircase thing that was a brain teaser for me because I'm not very good with redstone so that part of it definitely took a little bit longer than it should have but I got it done I eventually got it done so what I'm gonna do here is a concept that I've had in my mind for a little bit it's an idea that I came up with for a very simple item bin where you can just destroy items really quickly and really easily. Um, it involves slime blocks, obviously. Got some slime blocks here. And I'm gonna need some furnaces. So we're just gonna do this at the end of the episode just to get some time, just fill in the time and just make it, you know, a decently length episode. Hopefully, I can get to like the 20 minute mark or so. Hopefully maybe 25 minutes. I don't know. I just want to, I want to get a decently length episode. I don't like short episodes. I know that some people do prefer to watch short episodes though. So I might start doing some shorter ones. Um, and I'll do maybe longer Minefields episodes every five or so episodes. And then most of them will be around 18 to 15 minutes. Maybe that'll make my um, upload schedule increase. Because currently I've got, you know, a lot less time on my hands. So... I'm having to record a lot less minefields because those are the episodes that take the most time for me. Um, let's do this here, this here, this here, and this here. Oh, there we go. Wait. Why can't I place? Hello? Um, um, excuse me. Oh, okay, we just, we can't place. Oh, we need, okay, we need double, double slabs, I see. I see how it works. Um, bam bam, just like this, and there we go, is this one done? Did I do this one? I did, okay, sweet. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go bam, 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 and there we go. Okay, so, what we're gonna do now is go under here, we're gonna dig out some space for us to actually do some redstone. Uh, it's a very redstone heavy episode and I'm quite enjoying doing the redstone because it's, it's something different to what I usually do. Um, very different to what I did last season. Last season had no redstone. 
uh, for a lot of it. I mean, earlier I did some redstone, and then I did some redstone here and there, but this season's very redstone heavy, which I'm actually quite liking. Um, okay, so... Where do I go from here? Like this? This is where I'm gonna be placing the redstone, by the way. Just so I don't mine it out later. Um, I'm, I'm, like, a lot of YouTubers that I watch, the Minecraft YouTubers that I watch, are very redstone heavy, so... Since I enjoy watching it, I feel like I might want to produce that kind of content. Um, so, we'll go ahead and try it. Give it a go, maybe I'll improve, because I'm not very good at redstone right now, but... Slowly but surely I'll improve. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, so if you guys missed, I did a vlog, um, the other day, um, where I kind of updated on my life, and I'm going to be doing monthly vlogs from now on. Uh, where it kind of updates you guys on my life and how I've been going. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments what you've been doing. It's just a bit of a, a, a way for me to interact with you people a little bit more, a little bit better. Um, because I'm not, I'm not doing too much interaction. Most of my interaction, most of my personal interaction goes on Twitter. Um, and I kind of want to do that a little bit more on the, um, channel itself. So, expect to see a little bit more of my face. Um, great. Okay, so here we go. We've done this. Now this platform goes up and down. So from here, what we're going to do is just go up two blocks. And just do this. Do, 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 do. Very exciting stuff, isn't it? Hang on. All the particle effects seem to be bouncing on the, um, the slime blocks. I didn't know that happened. That's actually quite cool. Wow, <laughs> I like that. Nice physics, Minecraft. Um, let's go like this. Get these um, signs going. Oh, shift click. Here we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can just go lava bucket right in the middle. And that'll all go perfectly flat. And now all we can do is just go throw this, throw that, throw that. Uh, we don't need these. Um, we can do without these arrows and the rest of these signs. And if we want to dispense them... Oh god, is that gonna work? Oh, it worked for some of them. That was a bad example. But we're gonna get them right in the middle, actually. And there we go, we just burn them in the lava, so... That's how you do that. And it's pretty cool. Really simple. We might do a couple of these around the cave. Um, but we'll do those on later dates, and maybe off camera, because you've already seen me do it. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, because I kind of ran out of time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye bye! <laughs>